former tracks editor, Phil Jarrett, opens his 1975 contest report, Girls With Balls, with the Hunter S. Thompson-esque valor of a man determined to engross himself in the scene. Phil writes, Bell started to happen on Wednesday when Kingsley Kanowski and I sauntered into a pub in Melbourne and proceeded to get loaded before lunch. Bodily punishment in the pub aside, the event's final day was held in solid and very clean four to six foot bells. As Phil points out, Peter Townend surfed smooth, Mark Warren was carving, Mark Richards zipped and zapped, and Wayne Lynch looked good. But read on and it's Michael Peterson who had the spectators ooing and ahhing. He went on to say MP surfed with vengeance. It was MP's third straight Bell's Beach title. A surfing hat trick of epic proportions. The image of MP in his leather jacket and bell-bottom jeans huddled out of the cold drinking a warm cuppa at the 75 event, an everlasting one. His rock star good looks and steely determination to win, a combination we're yet to see replicated in the modern era. I spoke with Michael recently about the event and he nonchalantly referred to it as just another contest, telling me that not much really happened other than the surf was up. I asked him about his boards and he referred to them as real loose guns, 6.9s, 6.10s mainly. But what about famously missing the presentation, I asked. I was in town, he said, and didn't feel like going back. A classic answer from a classic surfer. MP wins his third and bells go down in history as a contest where legends are made.